Hi everyone, it's Stuart and Bella here from Upspec Gaming. Um, we're in a car, as you might be able to tell. Say hi. Hi. Um, we are going to show you today how you can use and play Xbox in the car. Uh, we've got lots of questions about it. We did a little video where we were playing Halo in the car and it got, I think, 100,000 views or something on Twitter and everyone was interested in it. Some people even said it was fake. Um, so we just wanted to show you how we do it. Um, I know a lot of people are going to say that I can just use xCloud, so why do I need a whole Xbox in the car? And that may be true for some people, but for us, um, we just find that uh, there's nothing that can compare to a native gaming console. And so that's why we do it this way, but others can use xCloud, no problem. Um, so also maybe stay to the end, because uh, we're going to show you some um, action of actually playing in the car right at the end. Um, and, uh, and you'll be able to watch that once we, once we show you how to do it. Um, so, the things that you're going to need and how you, uh, how you get this done. Firstly, um, you're going to need an Xbox uh, and a screen. And that's why we designed uh, X-Screen. Uh, this is the uh, bag that we made um, for the X-Screen and it, it holds everything you need. So I'll just open it up. Um, so this is a prototype X-Screen still. We made this ourselves. Um, the production model is not coming until about a week's time and, and in fact Bella you're going to do the um, the first ever unboxing of an X screen uh, production model. So this is a prototype so just bear that in mind. Um, if you want to see the unboxing you should subscribe and, and turn on notifications so that you don't miss that in about a week's time. So this is the X screen. Um, this is the, uh, the piece we designed obviously this is the Xbox Series S. Um, just to show you how easy it comes on and off, all you do is release these two thumb latches. The X screen comes off the Xbox. Uh, I've got the expansion drive in there as well. There's a gap in the X screen for the expansion drive to put it back on. So that's that's if you want to use it on your TV. You just plug it into your TV. Uh, if you want to use it on the go, you take it away from the TV. You get your X screen. You just line up the um, USB and the HDMI. You plug them in like that, it just attaches at the same time as the plugs go in and then you wind uh, the side um, screws and you have an integrated Xbox, just like that. Okay, so that's the first thing you need. Um, also in our case you'll see um, we have a place for the controller, we have a place for the power cable and uh, under the controller we built space for the charger for the controller. So everything you need is in there and then lastly um, we might do a separate video on this, but lastly, we have also a little pocket that can buy the stand feed accessories, which means you can use the X screen in stand mode, which means using the Xbox as a stand for the actual screen, which is pretty cool. Okay, what else do we need, Bella? These. What are those? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> These are an inverter. So what we need is we need an inverter to take power from uh, the car, which comes through the um, uh, the cigarette lighter adapter, and ultimately comes from the car's um, 12 volt battery, that comes out in DC. Do you know what DC is? No. Direct current. So that comes out in direct current, but direct current is is used by batteries, but house appliances and in homes we use AC. Do you know what AC is? Air conditioning. It's not air conditioning, but that's a good <laughs> guess. <laughs> it is alternating current. And so what an inverter does is it takes direct current and turns it into alternating current so that you can use home appliances uh, in a car or in a camper van or any, anywhere that you're powering from a battery. Um, and so you need an inverter, but not all inverters are made equal. So this one, this is an old inverter that uh, I had from maybe 10 years ago, and I thought this will work just fine. Um, and I plugged it in and we tried it out once and, and what happened? Do you remember? I don't think I was there. It beeped. Oh yeah, it beeped and it wouldn't stop And then beeping. the power just turned off. And, and so what I discovered after doing some research is not all inverters are made equal. This inverter is an old, um, uh, I guess, basic one and it uses what's called um, modified sine wave. Modified sine wave uh, is a version of alternating current where uh, the device, the inverter, tries to approximate the, uh, the wave that you need, but it doesn't do it perfectly. And that is uh, a problem because it doesn't give you as good a power quality. 
and for something sophisticated like the Xbox where you need good power quality, it either won't work or as I found in, in some cases, including um, in that battery uh, demo that I did, uh, where that was also modified sine wave, the, um, the Xbox would buzz and hum. It was clearly unhappy. So don't get modified sine wave. Make sure you check and get an inverter that uses pure sine wave. So this is a new one I just got, pure sine wave uh, inverter. It's more expensive obviously, but it's worth it and it makes the Xbox work. You need uh, probably at least a, a 100 watt uh, power supply, um, but most of them I find, like this one's a thousand, so I don't think that's, that's usually an issue. Okay, Bals, so maybe um, you plug that in to the cigarette lighter. I'll get out the X screen and uh, get out the controller. Now, um, we need the power cable. So uh, that plugs into the end uh, point here. And one end to the Xbox. And the other cool thing that we've discovered quite by accident with our case here is our case actually doubles as an awesome knee pillow for uh, playing the Xbox in your on your knee or on the go. So you can play the Xbox just like this. It, it, it sits fine on your knee, uh, no problem. But often I find I like it a little bit more elevated. So putting this on my knee, uh, putting the Xbox on top of this, uh, it's perfect. And so it acts as a, a nice knee pillow. Uh, and so then I can play the Xbox like this. So now Belzy, you plug. So you plug that into the inverter. The inverter is plugged into the car cigarette lighter and now we need to plug in the power to the Xbox which just plugs through that pass-through um, area there okay. and then we have the Xbox and that, let me just put the inverter down there we'll turn it around and there we go and your Xbox is on and you're officially playing Xbox in the car. Okay, Bells, fire up Forza. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, I'm gonna be the worst this driver. is why, this is why you're never driving. No. Bang, bang. Okay, let me turn that down. Just turn the volume down a little bit here because it's a bit noisy. Um, okay, so there you have it, everyone. That's um, I'm not even playing on the track. Xbox oh, no. in the car. Well, sort of playing Xbox in the car. I'm um, Stella's going to be a long time before we let her actually drive a car based on this performance. Um, so, uh, if you want to know any more, we'll put some links in the description to the inverter we used, which is one we got here in Amazon in Australia, and we'll put some that we found in other countries. Um, We'll put a link into the Xbox. Uh, you should know that we're in, in terms of the X screen, sorry, the X screen, we're in our final um, few days or, or week of pre-orders before we lock down the first shipment. So if you want an X screen from that first production run to be delivered um, in late January, then you should order now. Uh, and so I'll put that link in the description as well. And again, if you want to see that first unboxing of a production, uh, the first production sample X screen, hopefully in about a week's time, uh, subscribe, um, follow us, turn on notifications and, and please like this video. Thank you.